In this video, we are going to dive in and learn how to create a GPT from start to finish. Now, this is going to be a very tailored and custom solution to you. So whatever problem you're dealing with, whether you want to speed up your workflow, identify solutions, maybe you want to brainstorm some new ideas, whatever it may be, I'm going to show you how to create a GPT specific to your needs. I'm going to be giving free props and also some advice along the way on how to create your instructions all the way to actually implementing them into your GPT that we are going to be creating later in this video. Now, throughout this video, I will be mentioning some of my paid products I have on my website. And if any of these interest you, I'll leave them down in the description below or the top pinned comment. But with that being said, let's dive in and let's build these GPTs in order for us to become more successful in chat GPT. In order to get started, the first thing we need to do is we need to identify our problem. And we can do that by using this free prompt that I will be providing in the description below. You can copy and paste it into ChatGPT and get using it. And this is a prompt that I wrote myself. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to help create this GPT for us. So we're not going to be using the create section of the GPT as that's more for beginners, but we are going to be hopping right into the configure section. And we are going to be configuring this prompt based on this prompt that I've typed out. So this prompt is going to help you find a unique problem solving method that will help you solve your problem in the most efficient manner. So I give some instructions up here on what chat GPT needs to do in order to help us. And then I give a long example here of what I want it to do. And then I give some more instructions down here, but this is the fun part is I give this section where you can add in your own problem. It's as simple as this. All you need to do is go down to the description, copy this prompt, paste it into ChatGPT, and then type out your problem and your GPT will start getting created for you. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy all of these instructions right here by hitting control C. I'm going to head back over to ChatGPT. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that into ChatGPT. And all I need to do is I need to type out my problem and it's going to give us everything from the agent name to the description, to the instructions. And it's even going to give us an activate command. So I can type out my problem. Maybe I need help analyzing large data sets. Well, I can say that I need help analyzing large data sets. And now all I need to do is send that off. And the prompt is going to be going to work for us and it's going to be creating this GPT. As you can see, ChatGPT generates everything we need, the name, the description, and then it gives us instructions that we can paste away into the instructions tab. And it's not only doing that, but along the way, this is what makes it amazing. So it's giving us these commands we can use when we're talking to this chat bot. That's what makes it so much more custom is it gives us all of these commands. So activation command launch data detective. Then it gives us some other commands like commence data cleaning, begin exploration, deep dive, visualize data. So all of these are unique things to you and you can actually change these things around so that you remember them easier or maybe you have a structured way that you want to do your data cleaning. Well, you can change these commands around and have them do different things. The commands aren't even that important. You don't need to understand the commands or even have commands, but it's that cool little feature that makes that agent that much more unique to your situation. As you can see, it did a very good job though. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new tab by hitting duplicate, and then I'm going to open up my sidebar. Once I have my sidebar open, you can see my 20 agents that I've created for problem solving. Um, I offer these for sale on my website. You can go check them out. They're all pre-made, they get updated by me, so it's kind of cool. But in order to create the GPT, you need to hit explore, and then you'll see my GPTs pop up and then you will see the button to create a GPT for a specific purpose, which in this case, we are going to be uh, needing help analyzing large data sets, but whatever your problem is, you can do this. So we're going to hit create a GPT and we are going to skip the create section and go straight to configure. And now, as I said, right now we have the name, the description and the instructions all typed out for us. All we had to do was type our problem using my prompt that I created. So we can copy the data detective, and put it with the name. Then we can go back to the description, which in this case will be called the purpose. And we can copy that, paste it in. And we don't need to add the name in the description. We can just say the purpose of this. So we can delete this first half. We can capitalize this D in designed, and we can just have it say designed to assist in analyzing large data sets. We can even get rid of this entire back half and just have it be very simple. We have the data detective, which is designed to assist in analyzing large data sets. Next, we need to copy in and paste in our instructions. So I'm going to start with the activation command so that way it knows when to run. And it's kind of a cool little system that I have. I'll show you how we activate this in a second, but I'm going to copy all of the commands. Then I'm going to head over to my configure section once again and paste in the instructions. 
And now we have all of the instructions in here that ChatGPT will run through using the special GPT that's tailored to our situation based on a problem that we're having right now. You can create this for long-term problems that you're usually dealing with on a regular day-to-day -day basis or unique problems that you just need very specific help with. It's going to help you run through a problem-solving paradigm in order to get closer to solving your issues. So next, under conversation starters, this is what I like to do uh, with my GPTs because it kind of gives it that app-like feel. You know, you can click a button and it starts the process for you. What I like to do is where it says activation command, you know, the activation command that gets generated with that prompt that I provided you, what you can do is you can copy this activation command and put it in conversation starters. So now it will pop up as a button here and all you need to do is click to send and as you can see, the data detective uh, in this preview over here is going to be ready to assist you. You don't need to type in a prompt. What it's going to do is walk you through that step-by-step -step process that it generated based on your issue. Very cool, very quick. We're doing all of this in under five minutes. Now you can get super crazy with this. You can upload files, you can add actions, pull API keys. I recommend leaving on all the capabilities just so it makes it that much more powerful. You definitely want to leave on the code interpreter because it will let you uh, run code. It will let you upload your files, analyze your work, especially if you're doing something like analyzing large data sets, you're going to need code interpreter activated in order to upload those data sets. But now this is ready to go. And you have the option here to create an image as well to make it much more personal. So you can use Dolly or upload a photo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to mid journey and create a duotone agent to make this look amazing. As you can see, I have been generating some images in here for my uh, 20 problem solving agents that I have. But let's make a new one. I really like the duotone agent feel. Maybe I just want where it says thinking to add in something like data sets. I don't know, get mid journey thinking. Maybe I don't want them to have a hat. Now I can send this off and get my agent image. This step definitely isn't necessary, but I think it adds a unique flair when rather than just using the pre-generated dolly images that it gives you. I like going to mid journey and really customizing what my image looks like. As you can see, it provides us these four awesome pictures. These are super unique. You aren't finding these anywhere else. So that's why I like using mid journey, but I'm going to use the one on the bottom left here. It adds that data set feel, you know, these lines looks like there's data in the back. If that even makes any sense, it does look like there's data in the back. So I'm going to upscale that one and use that for my profile picture. So now I've uploaded it. And now this is our data detective guy right here. We have this agent feel we have a command that we can send off and this is ready to go now we can get crazy we are like i said we can upload these knowledge files but i recommend starting pretty basic if you have a basic issue and just building upon this because you can always edit your gpt later so as long as you get the basis of it down you can come back you can add files where you see fit you can change modify some instructions if you don't like uh, what it does at some point or maybe you want to add an instruction you can do all that but now we have a foundation built for an agent that's going to help us problem solve. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit save and this is where you get the option to save to only you, only people with a link or put it public. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit only me for now and then I'm going to hit confirm. And now over here on the left hand side, underneath a lot of my GPTs I have created, you will see the data detective. You can then select that. And now we are in this agent mode that we just created based on our problem. And it's designed to assist in analyzing large data sets. So as I said, I like adding this action command in here. All I have to do is hit click to send and it's going to start running through this process. It says data detective activated. Very cool, very techy, adds that personal feel. And then it walks us through step by step in order to help analyze the data. Please provide the details about the data set you wish to analyze, its source, size, type, quantitative or qualitative. And so the beauty of ChatGPT and Code Interpreter is you can just upload your data set by hitting this link file and it will continue walking you through step by step on the process that it created. Now, a quick way to create these GPTs would be to use my problem paradigm database that I offer. I offer 20 of these on my website and the instructions are already here. So all you need to do is you just need to copy and paste in these instructions. So I can hit create a GPT configure. The GPT names are already there, the five whys. And then what I can do is I can paste in those instructions. I can quickly copy my activation commands, put it in the conversation starters, name it the five whys. And then I can paste in the description that I already have here, just like that. And now you have a unique problem solving method uh, in one of the ways I use it. So there's quite a few of these in here and it's kind of fun to use and create your own agents. Now this is my system for creating these GPTs that actually work. You know, all you need to do is you need to take that prompt that I left you and paste in your problem. And then you have all of the information needed in order to create a foundational level agent that can help you with all of your problems.
Now, if you want to take a deep dive into ChatGPT and you're not sure how to use all of the features or how to even prompt necessarily, then I recommend getting my ChatGPT Mastery course as well. We have over 170 members now. I will leave the link in the description. You can get access to the community in the course, one-time payment, lifetime access. It's amazing. We're always going to be updating. The community is only growing and it's only getting more fun. So I hope to see you in there. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I also have tons of free content on this channel that you can learn and use in order for your ChatGPT success. All right, I will see you in the next video.